What's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mike's Likes. I'm Mike and this is what I like. Today, we are going to start my Pokemon card collecting journey. Pokemon cards. I'm new to the game. Sword and Shield battle styles. I got these from Target. You can only get three at a time. I got two, I like even numbers. So we're gonna open those up. I followed some various people on YouTube and across the verses of social media to see how do you store your cards? You start off with your basic sleeves. These are plastic on both sides. Most people just put them in these and they're fine. You're good. I see people have double sleeve. I'm the guy that gets the warranty even if there's a manufacturer's warranty. So I'm a double sleeve kind of guy. Then you got deck protectors. The back side is more solid and then the front side is pretty clear like this. It's, you join them together. I got a binder. A lot of people sometimes use the three ring binder when you can put the pages in that are already plastic and you can put the cards in, but they kind of bend over time. I'm just here to tell you what I like. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's all black. It's really sleek. Vault-X, that is what we use. They even say thank you. Can you see that? Thank you. I don't want to drop my beer. Not a sponsor. Drinking some Boulevard Irish. Yes. It's not March anymore, but I still have some left over. And then drinking some water. This is made by God. Find it many places, maybe your local stores. Here's the Vault X. It's connected, so I guess it makes it so it doesn't bend as much. I don't know. It looks cool. It's side loading, so the cards go in the side. It's self-explanatory. Vault X is their binder. It uh, looks like it's nine a page. These were harder because I don't speak other languages. KMC makes these standard size. People just say perfect with KMC. I'll drop the links in the bottom. There are a hundred of these, both less than 10 bucks each. The vault x was I think $26. These were like four something at Target. I was lucky to find these. I don't even know if these are good, so we'll find out. What I learned, the best thing to do is to have clean hands. We're gonna soap it up. Make sure you have plenty of lighting. I'm at home, I've washed my hands multiple times since I've been home, I use Germex, I follow all the CDC guidelines, don't worry, this is a safe and clean household. I promise my sink's not this low, I just don't have my camera set up to be able to stand up. Clean, ooh, it's a waterproof camera I hope. Dry our hands off with a towel. Find these at your local store. Now that we've washed our hands, Let's get the magic going. Probably want to prepare our station. We're gonna get our binder. I'm gonna open that bad boy up. A little thank you card. Leave a review at Amazon. I just might. I don't usually. I feel like there's enough people that say nice things. I guess I'm a bad person, who knows. We are going to cut these open. I'm gonna use scissors. I'm a skizzers type of guy. I don't like to just rip stuff open and then ruin stuff. Let's get these. And cut it all the way, great. Ooh, even these are protected. Protection on protection. Jeez, does Trojan make these? Okay. You know, I actually looked up, there's a guy who plays Magic. He had these exact ones. I'm gonna be honest, my American English ignorance, I don't know all of the, well, I guess there's some translation on the back, see? That's America for you. You don't work hard, you don't get what you want. Card barrier series are produced with carefully selected Japanese materials by high level processing technology. Yeah, Japan makes good stuff. We got our one deck protector. And then we got these perfect sleeves. There's even a cool thing on the back. Gives you a good idea of uh, how to do it. Double protection. They're not lying when they say card barrier. It's barriers on barriers. Hopefully uh, I'm not judged by my opening skills, you know? Ooh, I see you. Okay, we got our two bad boys. Oh, got some beard in my mouth. Ugh, beard problems, am I right? I have not opened up a pack of Pokemon cards since I hit puberty. I think that's true. Six plus, I'm well over six. Let's see if I can get through this without damaging anything. Watch this be useless and there's nothing good in here. I don't know. Well, actually there's two cards in the front, so there's actually no surprise. When you go to the store, some of these booster packs, Already have some cards in there, so that's cool. I think one of them is not even a real card. What a tease. I'm open this up. You can see what I'm doing here. Oh, there's an online reward. 
with your parents' permission. I'm too old to be doing this, but I love my childhood. Let's bring it back. Oh, okay, there was a card behind it. Okay, there's online rewards. I actually have two cards. I'm gonna place that right there. I don't know this generation at all, so bear with me. Wimpod, okay, all right. There's 189 in this set, this is number 17. Okay, so my first card I ever put away. I should get a tattoo. Apparently you should be able to just, there you go. I have to just, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, actually the back tells me what to do. There's a monster on the back. Step one from the top. Probably really rough. Okay, practice makes perfect. My sleeve's a little rough, but that's okay. That's cool, look at that, it's protected, whoa! <laughs> okay, so it's protected at a basic level. Okay, so the back's a little damaged, but that's okay, because the card's fine. Next step, the deck protector. There's still that air gap. Dust can get in there, and God forbid it. Do the same thing, except there does matter what side you put it in. These perfect size ones that KMC makes are so slim that it makes it really easy to, do. yep, really easy. Butter, are these butter cards? Cause that's how smooth it is. Really, you can't damage the sides of the card now that they're in the sleeves. We are double protected cause where this opens, it's closed in the one underneath. And look at that, we have our first card protected. That's number 17. If we can count with the binder, just go to step 17. Nine plus nine is 18. You're learning math on this channel. Boom, it's in there. The next one, it evolves into Galisiopod or Golisopod. That's cool. I don't even know if that's holographic or not. Six, seven, two, thirty-eight. You should play for the Celtics. Penny sleeve in the top first. This sleeve already looks better than the last one. You can tell it kind of takes, there's a little glare in direct light, but look, far away. Yeah, it's it's better. It's all about angles. Deck protector. We want to have the card all the way into the sleeve. So you can see there's like no space on this side. There it is. Hold it. So if you hold it, the penny sleeve really can't move too much. It's like putting down heavy furniture where you got to get your fingers out the last second or else you won't have fingers. I've seen some people kind of massage it a little, you know, make it feel what rested and relaxed. It's starting to get creases right there. So I got to be a little more gentle. If I want to make it into the elite YouTubers club. That's number 18. Look, we already have two of 189. We're on our way to become a Pokemon master. Now let's open this booster pack. Now we have what the people really came for. Sword and Shield battle style to get 10 cards. If I saw a guy, I think uh, Leon Hart was the guy. He's a pretty big guy, you probably know who he is. I know I do. He was putting like the first four in the back because of, apparently there's some surprises up there. I see people just rip this bad boy open. Okay, I already saw what that was. The Pokemon cards! The back of it is towards the front. That's four. Okay, and these feel nice. Yeah, I didn't make them like this when I was a kid. First card is... That's not a holographic, I don't know. This video is gonna be very anticlimactic, but this is Orbeetle. It's kind of shiny, so maybe the first four cards weren't, I don't know. I kind of like bug and grass type Pokemon. Green's my favorite color. Did you know the creator of Pokemon? I read this, I don't know if it's true. It's autistic and created Pokemon from bugs. I think it's holographic, I don't know. There is some shine to it, so that's cool. We're just gonna put it on this binder and then we'll sleeve it. Next card. Oh, okay, that's gotta be a holographic. The whole card is shiny. This is a silly Cobra. He doesn't look silly. That's gotta be a holographic. So is this a fighting sight because of the fist? That looks like a depressing Pokemon, but that looks holographic. It'd be really cool if we just said holographic. Next, we have... Okay, that's not holographic. Ball toy. Okay, I probably should have shown it to you first. Sorry, I'm learning. Ball Toy. I play Pokemon Go and Ball Toy just does nothing. You can evolve it into Clay Doll, I believe. I think I've seen some people use it, maybe in PvP. I don't know. It's not very useful. But you know what? Pokemon are all have their own unique ways of being cool. Next. Ba Boom! Electabuzz! I actually really like Electabuzz. I remember when it first got released in Pokemon Go, I thought it was really cool. I would only use an Ultra Ball on it because it was yellow and black. And the Ultra Ball is yellow and black. And I thought, oh, man. Maybe it'll give me good luck. Didn't always work, but sometimes it did. Next card. I've realized they are upside down. I'm sorry. Honed. Honed Edge? Honage? 
Is that a sword? I don't know some of these Pokemon. If you know these Pokemon, tell me in the comments if you like any of these, if this is not exciting. I want feedback and I can take it. I'm a grown man. We're gonna flip this bad boy. Tepig! I like Tepig. Tepig's cool. It's It makes me want a hot bacon sandwich. This is not a vegan friendly channel. I do, if you are, it's fine. Live your life, be happy. I have it right the same way we do. Ooh, Murkrow. I like Murkrow. Murkrow's cool. I like his hat. It's like it has a permanent hat, kind of like a penguin has a permanent tuxedo. So we're gonna put that bad boy down right here. It's dark type, it's mysterious. Next is Gliscor, Gliscor, whatever you call it. I like that. I just got one of Pokemon Go. I thought it was cool. I evolved and got it. But yeah, it looks, it looks pretty cool because it comes from the Gligar family. It evolves from Gligar. Yeah, it does. It says it on the card. Bats are cool. Um. I don't know, Batman's cool. And we have a, I think we already had our holographic. Spupa, okay, that's cute. It's a stage one. They really do make these stage ones really cute. I think they do it on purpose. It's like, oh, it's a baby, a baby's cute. And then he evolves and it's like, big monster. Oh, there's two more cards, okay. Did I miss count? Did I get, oh, cause there was the cards, no. That's nine. You get 11 cards? Oh, I think you get a trainer card or like a energy card, don't you? We're new to this game. Then we have a, yeah, a level ball, and I already saw purple energy. Psychic, I think that is. Level ball. Okay, woo! It's what we came for. These are worth a million dollars. I will sleeve some of these and probably get you a montage and some music. put them in there, uh, the binder. You know, we're gonna put these in number order. I gotta count by nines? Jeez, American math system has failed me. Nine, 10, 11, 12, okay. This could be a little center. There we go. I like the side load, it's pretty keen. Now we got 23, so 9, 18, 27, 6, 5, 4, 3, 23. Reese's Puff, Reese's Puff, that's what it sounded like. 23, let's go, 23 and me. My genetic makeup is Pokemon! <laughs> 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, this is 44. Uh, don't let snag right there. I wonder if the time it takes to make these things. Like whoever did, thank you. More patience than me. 37, 36, 45, 54, 63, 64, 65. I wonder if they balance out where it opens. So then this should be 74, 32. I like this, we're getting in there. This was cool. There's a technique, I guess, just. So we're gonna be real nice to this one. So 72, 74, 83, 82, 81. First hollow, I like that. It's a little harder to see when it's in the sleeve. You can see how it's fighting type. And then you can see like the fighting symbol is in the hollow. And then nine times 10 is 90. One, two, three. We're learning math today. I'm a college educated man with the math skills of one who never learned math. And then 90 plus nine, of course, is 99. <laughs> and then you go to 108 and it all starts over. So 108, seven, six, five. We're gonna re-sleeve Ball Toy because Ball Toy is mocking us right now. What number is Ball Toy? 57. Okay, so we're gonna be very careful because I did it wrong. I wonder if I did it right. No, I did that wrong. Okay. We are human on this channel. We score all mistakes. Well, not all mistakes. <laughs> Let's be real. Just, I haven't had to take it out of this league. Imagine the people who had to deal with really expensive ones. I think that did it. It's a little shake and bake. There we go. I'm gonna have to grow my nails out just for this. Top load. I think if I say top load every time I do it, I won't forget. I'm gonna just throw this card away. Oh, uh, no, just kidding. Okay, I've seen my angles. I'm getting it. I'm getting the groove. Okay. Ugh. It's nerve wracking. Jeez, it's like, do you want me to be happy? Come on, cards. Okay, that's good. Good enough. Bye, ball toy. 36, 57. Come on. 45, 56, 57. You get your own page, ball toy. Watch, I never get clay doll. Like, I even try and buy online in the Pokey world. It's like, you can't have them. That's in there. I don't even know what to do with you. We're going to put you on the very last page because that's what you mean to me purple's a good color r.i.p prince but come on energy 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 level ball jesus okay cool that part's done